Hey, welcome to Facebook Live here at the Houston Zoo. My name is Megan and I'm one of our carnivore keepers here. And we are gonna be showing you our bears, our two North American black bears. So shortly we will see Willow and Belle. They are two of our female bears. They are coming on over. So Belle is gonna be the bear in the front. And if you were at the zoo, you'd be able to tell her apart slightly by her size. So she's gonna be a little bit bigger than Willow. She weighs about 350 pounds while Willow weighs a little over 300. If you maybe were to get a different angle of them, one of the other ways that we can tell Belle apart is by a white patch of fur on her chest. So that is actually something that um, is pretty cool about black bears is while their name says that they are black bears, they can actually range in color from any color that a human hair can be. So our bears are actually a little bit more of the brown cinnamon tone versus the typical black bears that reside in Texas have the darker blacker coats. And that's because our bears were actually from California. So Belle started showing up at a restaurant around Santa Barbara um, and Willow joined her about a month later um, and so they were actually rescued by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. They were believed to be orphaned by their mothers and so they deemed them unreleasable and brought them here to Houston Zoo to be ambassadors for the black bear species. So you can see Willow up here. She's licking on some yogurt that our keepers put out. Um, we're going to be tossing them some yummy treats as well. Things like grapes and nuts and apples. Those are some of their favorite foods to eat. Black bears have a very um, different type of diet. So they are omnivores. They're going to eat both meat and produce. Now, just like most of you at home, our bears aren't huge fans of their vegetables. But those fruits like strawberries, blueberries, bananas, grapes, apples, those are going to be their favorite things. And we call those the high reward items, things that they really, really enjoy eating. And those are actually the foods that we use for training. They also go through very seasonal diets. So part of the year they're going to enjoy different things like their meat and their fish, whereas other parts of the year they might be more prone to eat their greens and their sweet potatoes and carrots. Um, right now we are entering kind of that slowing down phase. So the last couple of months they have been eating their fill of all this food, putting on that weight for the winter season. We like to call that hyperphagia where they are very, very hungry all the time. And they will actually start slowing down right around this time where they're gonna be less and less interested in food and kind of gearing up for that denning season. So Melissa wants to know what type of enrichment do they get? So it's a great question. Bears are extremely intelligent animals. So we love to give them all kinds of enrichment. Willow, she actually loves puzzle feeders. So you'll see things like maybe some PVC feeders or maybe items that they have to manipulate to get that food out. Willow loves a good challenge and so she's all about those puzzle feeders. And oftentimes we'll do different scheduled feedings throughout the day. Um, but we do like to give them other things like scent enrichment. So maybe different perfumes or substrates from other animals around the zoo. We're really trying to provoke those natural instincts through our enrichment. So all the behaviors that you're going to see bears do in their natural habitat, we want to give them opportunities to have those behaviors here at the zoo as well. So what you're actually seeing them do is called foraging, that's searching for food. So even something as simple as a food scatter or a food toss can be considered enrichment. Um, in the winter time, we'll give them lots of wood wool and different substrates to kind of make their beds and get really nice and cozy. But in the summertime, we'll give them maybe a lot more toys because they're gonna be more active and more excited to play. One of our bears' favorite things is getting in their pools in the summertime. And so they'll get things like ice treats in there and different balls and toys and um, logs and things that they can manipulate and play with. And they have a great time with that. So Tristan asked, how does hibernation work at the zoo? So that's a 
Awesome question too. Um, what's really cool is our black bears here aren't actually true hibernators. They go into a state called torpor. And what that means is that their body temperature, their metabolic rate, it's all going to drop, but it doesn't get quite cold enough for them to go into a true hibernation. So they're gonna have a period maybe of about three months where they're gonna really slow down, they're gonna stop showing interest in food, and throughout those three months, typically December through February, our bears may not even get up to eat, use the bathroom, or drink water. So while they aren't true hibernators, they definitely do go into that slowing down state. And that's one of the really cool things about our different habitats here is they've got multiple places where they can kind of find that shelter and build that den just like they would in their natural habitat. And they didn't always do that, um, the first couple of years, but we've really seen them take advantage of that season over the last couple of years and enjoy finding kind of that dinning space for them here at the zoo. So you're going to see them kind of wandering around. You're going to see a lot of rock work and perching, all these large logs on their habitat. And again, that is great enrichment for our black bears. So black bears are notably really great climbers. That's one of the huge differences between black bears and brown bears. So black bears are going to have special claws that allow them to climb trees. And also because they're about half the size of brown bears, they're a lot more agile and can maneuver up trees much better than brown bears. Brown bears are going to typically have more curved claws that allow them to be much better diggers than our black bears. So again, they've got this beautiful habitat. Um, and one of the coolest features while we're up here at the glass is we actually have some mesh panels over to the side that allow us to do a lot of training with our black bears. So I mentioned before that they're extremely intelligent and they love learning new things. And a lot of our training at the Houston Zoo is focused on medical behaviors or things that can kind of help these animals participate in their own medical care. So one of the coolest things we get to do with our bears is um, help them voluntarily participate in things like maybe injections. So if they were ne to need to get a vaccine, they could come right up um, and allow us to voluntarily um, administer that vaccine by presenting us with their hip. And all the while they get yummy, yummy goodies and it's a very positive experience for them. Something that we've started doing in the last couple of years and have had awesome success with these two bears has also been voluntary blood draw training. So behind the scenes, they have an indoor area where they like to spend time and that's where they go while we are out cleaning their habitat. Um, and inside we actually have specialized blood draw ports that allow us to safely have their paw come into our space and they are trained to have that paw grip on to a platform and allow keepers to manipulate um, their paw, kind of feel out that vein, um, and allow vet techs come in and voluntarily draw that blood. So that's a great way to keep a great eye on our bears, make sure that they're staying nice and healthy. Um, and it's a really fun process for them because they get all of their favorite goodies like honey and blueberries and grapes while they're training. So another really cool thing you're going to see Willow playing with that puzzle feeder right there um, is our <laughs> enrichment program. These girls love playing with enrichment. Um, they love experiencing new things. And so a lot of the year we're going to have different enrichment schedules. So we actually follow a calendar where we have different behaviors that we are trying to help them recreate. And so we'll do a lot of fun things with our enrichment. Our bears are one of the easiest animals to enrich because they, like I said, they love that challenge. At least Willow does for the most part. Belle can sometimes take the easy way out of things. But another important thing that we like to touch on with our black bears is conservation. Um, so here at the Houston Zoo, we actually help out the Texas Black Bear Alliance. Um, and they're an organization that 
kind of helps educate communities on black bears and how to coexist with them. And they also track um, black bears moving through Texas. And so the Houston Zoo um, helps with uh, tracking those sightings of black bears here in Texas. And a simple way that you guys can help black bears in the wild is simply by recycling your paper products. So black bears are gonna live in that forested habitat for the most part, so they need trees, right? So they need trees to make their home. Um, and so we wanna save as many trees as possible. And so simple paper recycling is a great way that you can um, help these bears from your own home. <sighs> Looks like Willow's having a great time with that toy over there. <laughs> But like I said, we've got some other feeders, but even something simple as leaf piles and different branches um, give those bears multiple opportunities um, to have those natural behaviors come out. Um, and you will see Willow can uh, be a little bit more playful than Belle, um, but they both do enjoy chasing each other and maybe wrestling around. You'll oftentimes see them fighting over the pool because they love the pool in the front of their habitat. So Stephen asks, are brown bears significantly darker than brown bears? Um, so like I said, their color can actually range depending on where they're from. So um, our brown bears, Bell and, or our black bears, Bell and Willow, are, have that more of light cinnamon tone, kind of that brownish tone. Um, whereas typically the black bears that you'll see in Texas have a darker coat. So um, it's thought that that color is going to change from where those bears are from around the U.S. And these bears can actually live all over North America. So it's thought that there's about 300,000 black bears here in the U.S. Um, and about 600,000 in North America in total. So they've got a wide variety of habitat that they can live in. Um, and these guys have an awesome population. We're very excited to see them moving back in to Texas and kind of making more um, of their home back here in Texas. Luke would love to know how much do they weigh? So Belle is gonna weigh right at about 350 pounds and Willow is gonna weigh a little bit over 300. And that's very typical of a female black bear. Male black bears can reach maybe around 600, but again, Black bears are gonna be about half the size of brown bears. So if you were to encounter a brown bear or a grizzly bear in the wild, those females are gonna hit right at around 600 pounds. So these bears are a lot more petite, but again, that's what gives them those amazing climbing skills and that agility that you're gonna see. And in fact, black bears can actually run about 35 miles an hour. So they can be very, very quick. Um, if you maybe were to go camping at Big Bend, we always like to educate people on how to coexist with our bears. Um, one simple, simple thing is to make sure you throw away or hide any food that you have. Um, we like to say that any bears that um, get fed will come back to that area. And so we want to make sure that we are keeping um, people as safe as we can and not encouraging those bears to come in to where the humans are. <laughs> well, I was really enjoying that puzzle feeder right there. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so happy you guys got to see our bears before they go into that slowing down phase. Um, but please join us again next Wednesday at 11 for another Facebook Live.